Hi, welcome back to my channel everybody. Hello if you're new. Today's video is a mineral, mineral sunscreen haul. So I wanted to talk through some mineral sunscreens that I picked up. Now I have to admit that I picked up these sunscreens for the purpose of YouTube. I want to kind of do a review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film a separate video similar to my previous one where I'm going to try these mineral sunscreens with the recommended amount. So the recommended amount is the amount you need to actually get the sun protection factor, SPF, that is displayed. So for example, if it's a 50, SPF 50, you need to apply a certain amount to actually get that SPF 50. When you apply the actual amount, the sunscreen acts differently. It can be heavier, it can leave more of a white cast, etc. So for that reason, it will show a really kind of more in-depth review. However, I'm going to go through some of the products here and talk a bit about them and um, why I got these specific ones. I will link below a sunscreen review in that style of using the actual amount. I literally measured it out. Um, those were mainly for sunscreens that are targeted for oily, acne-prone skin. There are some others in there that I wanted to test out and compare. But most of those are La roche -Posay, I should also note. So in my experience, I use a lot of combination SPF. So it has physical and both chemical. So having just mineral, I'm really, really interested. I have never used any of these products and all the impressions are authentic and as they come. So I picked up the Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense. So this is an SPF. 50 PA++++ and it is high protection. Now this is 100% mineral based UVA, UVB. Broad spectrum technology and antioxidant vitamin E protection. It says lightweight formula for sensitive and acne prone skin. That is definitely what drew me towards this. It has very high ratings um, sort of awards from like magazines or whatever and this I didn't actually realise but I'm reading now. It is a universal sheer tint. I'm not gonna lie to you, for whatever reason, mineral sunscreens are more expensive. Doesn't mean there's cheaper options out there, but when you are looking for a sunscreen that is gonna help your acne prone skin, it's not gonna be greasy, it's not gonna be comedogenic, it's gonna sit lightly on the skin, I find that you have to pay a bit more. But this, I will put the prices of the products because they are expensive, in my opinion. This is like a nozzle formula, it, it's probably runny if it's the one to shake well, which reminds me of this sort of La Roche-Posay one, which is also, you need to shake it well. Um, I also have a video on La Roche-Posay, Shaka fluids, tinted fluids. This looks good. Basically, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. I will put all of that in my full detail review. But in general, I'm excited to use this. The next mineral sunscreen that I purchased is from Drunk Elephant. So this is my first Drunk Elephant purchase Ever. So this is their mineral sunscreen. Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Protection. High protection, 20% zinc, sunflower shoot extract. So it says it's suitable for all skin, including the most sensitive. It says the unique formula is ideal for daily use without any white residue or greasiness. We will see about that, and we will see about that at the amount that you need to get the SPF 30. But this bottle, is 90 millilitres, 90 millilitres, that's big. It says when applied properly, which I'll be doing in my review video, it says this tube contains 80 full face applications, which is pretty good. Is it, is it scented? That's a good question actually. Let's do that for both of them, the Kiehl's and this one. So has this got fragrance? I don't think it has fragrance, but I'm surprised they wouldn't put fragrance free or no parfum or, so I like that it's a big bottle. I like that it's zinc oxide. Dr. Vanita Rattan has sort of said that this is a really good zinc physical SPF. So I'm I'm excited to try it out, but part of me doesn't have high hopes. This is the Clinique SPF 50, again, mineral sunscreen, and it's just tiny. It's genuinely tiny. This is the SPF 50 mineral sunscreen fluid for face, sensitive skin formula. So this has UVA, UVB protection, and on the back here it says ultra lightweight 100% mineral sunscreen is gentle enough for even sensitive skins and around the eye oil free most likely fragrance free as well because it's from Clinique 
Um, so again, it's it's obviously going to be like a lightweight formula and it has a nozzle, which is already leaking. What I like about this is that it is an SPF 50. It's supposed to be a light fluid, but the, the main thing why I bought it is because it's mineral. 100% mineral sunscreen and I'm interested to see how it is. Yes, it does say fragrance free. I think most things from Clinique are, if not everything, so that's good to know. Then I picked up one that I wasn't actually like looking for or anything, but I saw it and I was like, Do you know what? I'll try it. So that is one by Ren, which is clean skincare. So this is a clean screen, mineral SPF 30, mattifying. That attracted me because oily skin peeps, acne prone people, yeah, we love a mattifying sunscreen. So it says mattifying sun, mattifying face sunscreen. So it says results, skin is better protected from the aging effects of the sun with a soft matte finish. Suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skin to use. Work between the fingers and apply to the face and neck. Okay, I'll remember that. Work between the fingers. So it has no chemical UV filters and no silicone. It's got naturally derived ingredients, including the zinc oxide. And it's vegan and cruelty free, of course, because it's from a clean skincare brand. 100% natural fragrance. Okay, the last mineral sunscreen that I picked up is from the brand Ultra Sun. 100% mineral, ultra light mineral sun protection for face, ultra sensitive skin with antioxidants and ectoin, ectoin. Water resistant, uh, no perfume, mineral oil. That's, so in the box there's loads of information. Oh, so it's saying about the application recommendation, apply one finger of the UV sun protection on your face. So that would be the finger method. One whole finger to your face. Advanced Swiss sun care, made in Switzerland. I have only been to Switzerland once and I loved it so says a lot about this sunscreen I'm gonna love it obviously can we just take a moment that these SPFs without let's say that I didn't get any discount even then the discount I got wasn't like major we're talking hundreds of pounds for mineral SPF and obviously I've got it for YouTube I bought it with with the money from YouTube anyway I would be shocked if they're all fantastic but then it will make me really happy because it'll be worth the money I will do a full review on these five mineral sunscreens if it's up already, I will link it down below and put a card. If not yet, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see that video. Don't forget to ring the bell or whatever it is if you want to be notified of when that video is live for you to watch. So thank you for watching this video. See you in my next one. Bye.